Add a new toy to the fleet. So today we're going to go from this. To this. So let's get started. All right, so I've been working on getting the old mats out of the Wave Runner. It's not an easy task. It actually really sucks. Scratch the shit out of everything. I don't know if you can see it. This was my first pass, and I just scratched the crap out of it. Hopefully a lot of this is hidden. Some of it's not going to be, so maybe I can figure out how to touch stuff up. But as I got a little better, it started getting a little easier. The technique got a little better, but with that said, I'm still scratching the heck out of everything here. So I'll, uh, I'll kind of lay out what I've been doing. Maybe somebody can add to it. Um, it's starting to work for me now, but I don't think there's any way around. I don't think there's any way around scratching this thing up, especially with the blue paint. So here's what I do. So first. I take a bristle brush. This, obviously I could have done a better job pulling off and that would have made things a lot easier. Um, I thought uh, the uh, adhesive remover I was using was gonna work a lot easier, but it's not. So this is kind of what I'm doing. step is adding this adhesive remover 
Uh, I watched a video of a guy using this stuff. It looked like magic. Uh, it does do a good job, um, but it doesn't get through the foam, which is why I have to hit it with the hard bristle brush first. So then you paint this stuff on. It hasn't been too tough on the paint. Um, I've been using it pretty heavily. And I think the only time it brings the paint up is when I'm scrubbing real hard. But for the most part, it's been pretty good. So I put it on heavy. I try not to get it on the paint as much as I can. I'll go and wipe it back off. But you want to have enough on there that it penetrates. Right, so now that's on, we'll just let it sit for 10, 20 minutes, come back, and then we'll give it a scoop. And then we'll go back and forth a couple more times. Go for it one more time. Now we'll wait another 10 minutes and see where that gets us. All right, another 10 minutes down, see what we're looking at. All right, so I'm also using this guy, General Purpose 3M Adhesive Cleaner. So I'm kind of hitting it with a one-two punch. They both seem to do a pretty good job. So I'll just sit and let that, this seems to be a little easier on the paint. Uh, than this guy, but uh, it doesn't seem to be quite as grabbing. So this is it, go back and forth a few times until you get it all, and that's pretty much it. So the, the combination is this guy basically heating up and, and uh, scratching up the, the foam so that the adhesive remover can get down into it, and then back and forth, back and forth, until you're pretty much clean. Uh, Bondo knife, not a putty knife. Putty knife scratches the shit out of everything. 
don't use a razor blade unless you need to. That scratches everything too. It's pretty easy to lift off some paint. But uh, you know, once I got this technique down, it's been working pretty good, and I haven't been scratching stuff up nearly as bad. But uh, let's see how it goes. That's pretty much it. There's a couple spots where I need to get some more adhesive off, but it's not too much. Uh, but I wish I followed this process throughout the entire thing, or it was going to look pretty good that way. Uh, very minimal scratching uh, with that, um, but you can learn as you go. I don't know if there's a way to touch this up, uh, get rid of some of the, the nicks and dings. I mean, it's uh, 18 years old. It's pretty dinged up to begin with, um, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll find something. But uh, overall, I'm done with that. So now, so now we're gonna go around and, and buff and wax this entire thing. Actually, I'm not gonna wax it yet. Just gonna buff it, um, get some of the old, the big difference you see from where the graphics were and where they weren't. So we'll buff all that out. Got some new, uh, new registration numbers showing up, but uh, I think it's gonna look pretty good. See how it goes.
that's it. I'm not sure how I'm liking how bare it looks without the graphics on there. A lot of those graphics were messed up, or the other side was messed up, so I just had to pull them all off. But uh, for the most part, everything's looking good, even though I scratched it all to hell. Um, everything kind of looked good in the end, uh, especially after I, I buffed everything out as much as I did. Um, overall, it looks pretty good. Um, if folks are wondering, uh, I just used a, a, a regular Chemical Brothers um, buffing pad uh, to buff this out, and then a, uh, a compound, a really light compound paste from Turtle Wax uh, to get all that out. Everything turned out pretty good for the most part. But that's it. So next, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do the seat this year. The seat probably needs to be done at some point. It doesn't look that great. Uh, but I'm gonna get down to the mechanical stuff next. So I think um, out the gate, I think this guy can do maybe 55, 60 miles an hour. I wanna get as much as I can out of it uh, this season. So uh, I think we'll go with the new impeller, um, the intake grate, there's a, uh, a muffler delete, uh, and then there might be a couple other things, like a hair intake or something like that. So I'm gonna throw all those things on here. Probably do a before and after, which is always fun. So, more to come. Thanks for watching.